our restaurant you get to experience what it's really like to be a chef every day. You get to be a head chef for the day, run the pass um, and get that real experience so when you do go out in the industry you've got a real taste right from your good grounding to really being able to re it and run a, a kitchen. So basically when they start at TAFE we know that everyone's got no experience so they're stocked at the real base of getting that bit of theory behind the cooking, introducing the different types of knives to how to look after them, to sharpen them, and you slowly work your way up to um, starting basic methods of cookery, then simple dishes, and finally, right at the end of your Cert 2 in the second year, you actually get to um, cook in our restaurant where we service the public. We force them to eat, so make sure you'll lose about five kilos before you start the course. We are emphatic that everything you're making, you're tasting. You have to start developing your senses, your smells, um, start associating different herbs with different things. When you add that basil, what does it then transform that dish into? It's great to go home often to share with your family and to see how you're also developing and evolving from your first day from what you take home to by the end of your second year, you can tell the difference. Nowadays, our dietary requirements is embedded into every cooking lesson that we do purely because of the amount of different not only intolerances but religions that people have. They go into finding out different varieties of food you can have for celiacs, diabetics, nowadays vegans on the rise. It's all competency based so a lot of it's done through holistic assessment so every time you're in the kitchen your teachers are assessing you, seeing your capabilities and that's how you end up progressing very little homework which with hospitality because we know a lot of the kids that are in hospitality have other jobs, are in um, year 12, got a lot of pressure on them so we definitely try to focus more on doing most of our theory in class with group input, brainstorming. A lot of our chefs that do go on to be apprentices with this Cert 2 qualification through um, veteran schools it actually gives you a credit a lot of your core subjects in your first year of your apprenticeship. I know most of my chef friends from when we graduated have led to just amazing jobs, working on airlines, um, working for ambassadors, just being private chefs. You don't have to go work in a restaurant. Food photography, as I mentioned before, um, recipe writing, cookbooks, if you want to, maybe even a food critic, if you want to go to that journalism route. For those that want to go travelling, you can always fall back on cooking because there's always kitchen hands, chefs um, needed throughout the world. It doesn't have to be your sole career. It's the most amazing backup career.